In this video, we'll see how to extend the Postal Fabric schema as well as migrate into it. The first step is to create a domain. This is of course optional, but it will be useful when you create a new record, for example, to see the record types. So let's create a domain now called record type. And it has to match the same type of the field that it's going to be used for. We'll call it record type in the description. We'll switch it into a long, from a text to a long. And now we can provide the codes. So let's type one will be the merge. Record type, for example, two can be a split, for example, and so forth. You can extend it with your values for your record types, of course. And once you are done with entering those values, you can press the save. If the save is disabled, that means you have a lock on your schema. Um, you want to save the edits first, by the way. So now that we created the domain, let's look at the records feature class and point the record type field to that domain. So let's go design fields. And on the record type, specify the domain we've just created. And here it is. You can optionally extend the record feature class schema with the fields that meet your business requirements. So you can add as many fields as you want. Here's an example. You can add a field called my field, etc. In this case, we'll just discard this, but you get the hang of it. So we created one domain and extended the schema a bit. Let's look at the source data. Here's a shapefile. To look at the fields of the shapefile, we can right click and go into design view and specify fields. And we can see a lot of fields that the organization might want to preserve. Let's do the same on the target feature class, the parcels polygons, and dock the field side by side in the design view. Now we can easily select all the fields that we want to copy over. And those are the business fields, including this field called the record name that we'll use soon. So let's copy them and to it's as simple as copy paste. And we're just going to paste those fields in the target. And this is a very neat feature in ArcGIS Pro. Of course, you see it green. We still need to save it. And now it becomes part of the schema. That way, we, when we append the data, those values will just get appended and will have a match on the target. That record name will be, field will be used to group parcels together based on the legal record they came from. And that will create the record geometry, the footprint of those legal transactions. You can extend the schema of any feature class in the parcel fabric as you see fit. But the next step is to append the source data. So the input data set are the shapefile and the target feature class are the parcels polygons. And if you have schema mismatches, you can take this opportunity and match them and map them properly. And you can also do it after the fact by using the calculate field. So data migration is as easy as just appending your data. And now that the data has been appended, we can enable the parcel topology by right clicking on the parcel fabric, go to the manage and enable parcel topology, which will open the geoprocessing tool. And all we have to do is press run. You want to enable the parcel topology after you append the data to make appending really fast. Now that we have done that, we'll create the parcel records. We'll specify the parcel polygons and the record name field that we had in the schema and press run. You can run it now or you can run it at the later step, stage to create records. And now that we've done that, we've only appended polygons. So we want to create lines and points. So let's build the parcel fabric by using the build parcel fabric geoprocessing tool. And that is everything you need to know about data migration to the parcel fabric. To get the default symbology, we can just add the parcel fabric to a new map that will utilize all the smart symbology that comes with the parcel fabric. It will zoom from wherever you are 
to the right location. And if you turn on the parcel fabric controller, you can see those blue outlines. Those are the outlines of the record footprints that we've just created. And if we zoom in a bit, you will see the names of those transactions. In this case, it's a subdivision, most likely. We can turn it off. If we zoom in, you'll see points and lines. Of course, this is, came from a shapefile that does not support true curves and it needs some cleanup, obviously. But now this parcel fabric is ready to go. You can continue to edit it and start to maintain it in the new parcel fabric. Thank you.